everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sejuani Overwhelm. So this is going to be our last donation deck of the day. We're going to be playing um, a deck that's all about attacking. And so we're going to be getting um, some early damage in with some good damage sources and then winning with some Overwhelm threats. We got Iron Ballista. Um, uh, I guess we have we have Reckless Trifarian, our other three drops. Like Those are our three drops. Trifarian doesn't have Overwhelm itself, though, so we need to give it Overwhelm. So we have Cat of the Arm that can help support the Trifarian, give it Overwhelm, also attack for five on its own. The, like, this is, like, this is, looks like a 5-4, but sneakily it's an 8-4 because it does give the other plus three. So it's like an 8-4 uh, across two bodies and giving something else plus three. Like that card, Sejuani, of course, amazing. And then Ancient Yetis being Overwhelm. You notice we don't really have a four mana card. Ancient Yeti is, is like our secret four mana card. This is like a four mana 5-5 five, five Overwhelm. If it's in your opener, um, by turn four, it will cost four. So it fits the curve right there. And of course we have the mites to give things overwhelm. Like using might even on like these, like just these small things is also just fine, especially you know if they're unblocked, um, or you know even if they have a two three block here two three, you know so might can still do that too. And yeah, we're just gonna be um, putting a bunch of pressure on them and attacking with these big threats. So here we go. Let's go play five games over in ranked with Sejuani overwhelm. Get Noxus. Yeah. Uh, regarding the last deck, do you think do you think the likes of Sejuani plus Swain still has more power overall? Uh, no, not really. No, I think that deck's better than Sejuani Swain. I I think it has less power. I think that the the steel cards are more powerful. Like the um, you know, like yeah, I, uh, what whatever they're called the. Black Market Merchant, Pilfer Goods, that kind of stuff. That's more powerful, honestly, than the Noxus cards. Um, all right, let's see. This seems like a good hand to keep, so I will keep it. Ooh, Iron Ballista. This is my first time playing Iron Ballista. Cool art and everything. That's a cool looking ballista. Fight or die. I'll play the three one that it attacks for more. The winter's claw. Instead of the two three. I mean, I guess it does just trade where the two three wouldn't have. But. We can kind of save the two three for whenever we have transfusion as well. Ooh. It's not bad. Okay. The winter's claw strikes. We'll play that and then we'll kind of um, assess. The eye of twilight sees all. If I wanted to play Crimson Disciple or Transfusion, they got a 3 5. Let's play Transfusion. We'll still do the same amount of damage to them because of the overwhelm. But you know, they just get to kill. They just get to kill that thing. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. Carve a path! I sense an imbalance. This thing to have vulnerable. I 
Just the one toughness. One health. All right, so we'll go here, here, here. I don't know, attacking with Crimson Disciple just gives them, let's see, so if they, if they have Shen block Crimson Disciple and then they have this block the Trifarian, they would take nine and go down to three. And then my Crimson Disciple's dead. Yeah, that's fine. Understood. That's... Well, they gotta have tricks, because if they don't have tricks, that's the worst block they could have. Ugh. That card's annoying. You cannot escape. All right, down to five. Hey, pink shirt. It's a good sign whenever they are, you know, sitting there really thinking, trying to figure out what to do. Good sign. Uh, no, this deck was uh, Bolt Action Jackson, viewer in stream. We each defend our brethren. These were all donation decks today. Honor dictates they are under my protection. Okay. Leveled up, Shen. It must be done. We'll just block here. Take the eight. Nature blesses her followers. Good draw. Born for conquest. No closer. Stay back. Immediately. Not good. Yeah. This was from like February long. 13-2. So I was trying to have this survive and get the other two points of damage in like that. So I was trying. So I go. Intruders! Dang, I thought we were going to be winning that one. That, uh, the Shen Champion spell really helped them out a bunch. Like, without that card, I definitely think we would have won. Like, that, that card was awesome for them, being able to switch like that. Wanna keep this many two drops? So we'll have Omen Hawk on one, Raider on two, something on three, and then like Demolitionist Raider on four. Do I want Raider on four? I think so. Caddo! What time is it? Cat, oh clock.
Yeah, so they were at five, so if I would have... If I would have used the transfusion on the... I don't know why I'm attacking with the Omen Hawk. That's a bad attack with the Omen Hawk. That's probably a bad attack. I guess if they block Omen Hawk, they have to take off this damage. Whoa, just no blocks? Okay, I... I that is bold. Eyes open. Watch the branches. Hold a hand. Let's move. So if I were to use the the trans the transfusion doing the one damage to the little guy to to uh the two three, that could have dealt two damage to them instead of instead of trying to pop it up. So yeah, I could have just done that and then play the other thing. What time is it? Okay, two o'clock. No! I want to attack. The Winter's Claw! No blocks. I'll take care of this. Looking for this. Alright, they blocked. If they don't kill us here, we're, we're gonna kill them. Most likely. But it looks like they're going to kill us here. Oh, I can't wait. These are dangerous lands. Dang. That two drops good. Green Glade duo. Card's good. Just unblockable. It's so much damage unblockable every turn. So much damage. You know, it was like, you know, the turn two, obviously, just attacked for two. But then turn four, it attacked for four. That turn, it attacked for four. Three attacks, ten damage from a two drop. I can't block. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's a, a tough matchup. Can't do too much about that. We're just facing these other aggro decks that are being just as fast, but also having some interaction. It's a clutch will of Ionia. Best case for me, best case scenario for me is those two cards to trade anyway. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Not my first gun fight. Look what you did. So they may have misfortune. Don't and you know, pull this with misfortune. Okay, now so they're just gonna trade. That's fun. I got a good five damage in. Grizzled Ranger does trade with a Trifarian, but you know that's me trading three mana for four, and we got that five damage in, which is nice. 
or they can just have that trade. Um, Who gets tossed? I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous they're going to kill Cat of the Arm somehow. Still heart, steady aim. But if they don't have anything, I'm not incentivizing them to attack with those. Good back to back. This land is ours. Wish I would have played those pre combat. All right, let's mess some folks up. A draw. How can we finish this game out now? Come down to nine. Is that all? Nine's not enough. My duty's done. Slow down, will you? That was a clutch back to back. I. I guess I should have played stuff pre-combat. I was thinking, like, didn't want to play stuff pre-combat because I didn't want them to play other things, but, um, honestly, with our deck, we probably should just be playing stuff pre-combat all the time. I'll write my own story. What time is it? All right, Kato. Help us out. Jenny? Oh, gosh. That's quite annoying. Gosh. Hold nothing back. This puts me down to five. And then we're very dead the next attack. Kind of have to kill the Grizzled Ranger. So if I, if I use Noxion Fervor, kill Grizzled Ranger, I'm still at nine. Um, I can block one thing, and then no, no, then I'm then I'm still dead. Um, dang, I'm just dead. Like, there's no way for me to keep Cat of the Arm alive. Like, that's that's not something I can do. I can't. I cannot keep Cat of the Arm alive. Yeah, 
And me stay alive. My shield is yours. These words belong to us. So I don't really know what, what we can draw. It better be good. Whatever it is. <laughs> that might not work out. Yeah, we, we got both those games. We were looking, or well, uh, yeah, two of the three games, I guess. We played three, but we were looking really good until the six mana tricks that blew us out. The Stand United and the back-to-back. -back. Six mana burst speed tricks blew us out two out of three games the other game if the wayfinder would have missed we would have won the other game too but the, the wayfinder didn't miss but if, if that wayfinder missed they they lost Again, another aggressive deck. We're just we're just playing all aggro mirrors, and they just have better interaction. Like that's like might is not a very good card in an aggro mirror. It's like good against a defensive mid range deck, but not good against an aggressive deck because they can like it's unless you like are out ahead and just you know and it finishes the game. Like it it has to be lethal for this card to work. That's such a great one drop to hit. Scout can't block. That's such a great one drop to hit. Let's see what you can do. Glad they didn't attack with misfortune. The winter's claw strikes. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. My turn. Don't get ahead of yourself. Ever consider a henching career? I feel like maybe Fury of the North would just be better than Might. Fury of the North can you know be pump and save your thing instead of just some pump and some overwhelm like Might. 
or a combination of the two. Like, more of a combination. I guess we, we have one Fury of the North, but... It feels like most of the time Fury of the North is the better card. No, I, if we had Fury of the North, I would have just gone straight to attacks, and I wouldn't have played the 3-1, but they wouldn't have played their 3-3 either. <clears throat> but, like, the previous like the previous turn, Fury of the... Like, the Might was, like, really weak. I had to use Might to just trade with the 2-4, the you know, 2-for-1 myself, where Fury of the North would have been a lot more powerful. It would have kept my thing alive. But even that turn too, like both both those turns, we would have kept our we would have kept our Crimson Disciple if we would have had Might, or if we would have Fury of the North. It's like the first time, like we would have still had the three things, we would have gone straight to combat. All right, so. Go to six. Yeah, their deck doesn't play that many pump spells, so yeah, doing the transfusion hurts. Transfusion would have been better for Might also than for us. This just doesn't feel that good. Saving two life for a card. When this card can still trade with the Trifarian. Yeah. Yep, our opponent's deck is just a, a better version of our deck. Safety. Definitely. Same kind of concept, but they have a lot more card advantage. Or basically, these, these Bilgewater cards are just, they're just amazing. You know, like they really are. Well, Reckless Trifarian is a, you know, it's a cool card being a 5-4 for a 3. I, I haven't really ever felt that this card is uh, playable and constructed, unfortunately. I think it's a big weakness of our deck. Not, not Turning every single thing into, in your opponent's deck into elusive, basically, you know, because it can't block anything. You just you can't really can't really have that. You can you can't really have cards that only affect one one side of combat. When they're playing cards that affect both sides and get to block and attack and everything, it's it's a big weakness. One good turn, hey friendo. Uh, could you see card stealing getting some nerfs? Yeah, I rush, huh? I kind of expect that honestly. I kind of expect and not like big nerfs at all, but I kind of expect pilfered goods to be a. a like, even if they just change, like, Pilfer Goods to be, like, Fast Beat or something like that. I kind of expect something to, to happen like that. I know that was on their uh, watch list last time. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Draven's a lot better than Reckless Trifarian. We, we do have room for Draven's in here. 
So this will put me down to three. It's the block I have to make, though. I can't, I can't possibly win if I block here. It puts me down to three. We know about two warning shots in hand. I don't really know why they're not like doing the scout attack. If they don't break, they'll burn. So obviously, I'm, I'm effectively at one. So anything kills me, but it's the block I have to make. Came close. You know, came close. Got him to two. It's not like our deck's that bad. Like we're we're in these games. You know, it's not like we're we're just getting completely destroyed or anything. Like we're we're competitive for sure. It's just, it's just not quite good enough. You know, like we got, you know, a couple of six mana tricks that you don't see very often. Back to back, Stand United getting us. You know, if their Allegiance card missed, we would have won. That one, that game, we got them to two. It's not like we're, it's not like our deck's bad. Just not quite good enough. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. I'll try anyone. Yeah, Dra Draven would be just an upgrade over a Reckless Trifarian in every way. My turn. I think we're supposed to play Blasta. We play stuff pre combat with our deck. Yeah, the Shen stand united, yeah. Now who's got the upper hand? That was a good exchange for them. Yeah, Ma yep, Mayor, I saw your donation deck. Okay, so you have, that's, okay, you did a donation deck for a similar, similar kind of deck here. Awesome. Yeah, we haven't had any Yetis in our opening hand, so yeah, they have looked really slow because of that. I'm just going to pass the turn and have them not spend their mana on turn 5. Oh, they passed. I don't think we've had turns. I don't think we've had turn six Sejuani. I think I think we had Sejuani in one of the games. Dragon's Rage. If enemy survives, recall it. Puts me down to two. Here's our chance.
Going back in time to 1985. So yeah, it's, it's uh, basically with this deck, um, there is definitely some power here, and yeah, I can I can certainly see this deck doing pretty well um, at a lower level where decks are a little less tuned. But with uh, in Masters ranked, like maybe I should have just played this in normal um, Master rank. Like while we were really close to winning a lot of those games, uh, that fifth game not so much. You know, like we weren't we weren't close at all the fifth game, but the the first four one card different in all four of them uh they could have all been wins but uh yeah i've just i i, I just don't think reckless trifarian is good enough i honestly don't um wanted to give it a try you know like i always like i always like trying uh cards and but this has just been my experience in the past anytime i've played reckless trifarian i've always lost a whole lot of games just can't you know can't block is just really rough um, just can't play cards like that, unfortunately. And yeah, Ancient Yeti, good in your opener. And like we we talked about at the beginning, if it's in your opener, it's your turn four play. Um, it was never in our opener, though. Um, okay, you want to see your deck Friday, Saturday, or Sunday? Okay, any... Uh, I could do Friday or Saturday. Do you have a preference, Emmanuel, Friday or Saturday? Which one of those you want? Um... But, yep, uh, you know, tried something a little different, didn't work, that's okay. But yeah, I'd rather, yeah, so basically I'd rather have, like you said you had Draven, yeah, like I'd rather have Draven here than Trifarian, I'd rather have Fury of the North than Might, because um, you still have, like, you can still be the Overwhelm deck, like you still have, like, all this other stuff with Overwhelm, um, but I think Fury of the North is a better card than Might, and Draven's a better card than Trifarian. Um... But anyway, there we go. They're not always going to work. Um, uh, thought about cutting a Yeti for a Fury. Um, yeah, I, I think... Like, may, like this deck, like, it should probably be playing... Uh, you know, basically, like, if you look at, like, the Ash Sejuani deck, that's, like, really good... Um, you know, it should be playing like a lot of those, like, you know, those are kind of just like some better cards to be playing. So you only know, like playing like, like Averroes and Trapper, even at like the three mana slot. Uh, and then, you know, getting, getting card draw in there, you know, heart, of course, hearth guard, assessor, like that kind of stuff. I know we're trying to be super aggressive, but, um, there's a lot of like, all we, all we did was play against aggro decks. There's a lot of aggro decks and you need some play, you need some removal, that's not just Noxion Fervor. Need some counterplay. Need to be able to play long games. All that kind of stuff. But. How do you feel about Trifarian Shieldbreaker instead? Uh, I don't like it at all. Five mana. Uh, no. I, I I don't think this is this is not a constructed playable card. This is just so much that card's just so much worse than all sorts of other five mana cards. Five mana, there's a whole lot of competition of really good cards. Like Avros and Hearthguard, for example, much, much better. Um, I would rather have Rhyme Touch Shaman, I'd rather have Scar Maiden Reaver, I'd rather have Earthsign Spearwalker, and I'd rather have Tark as the Tribalist. I'd rather have all those cards before Shieldbreaker. Um if we have like you know any kind of nap i mean we don't really have enough for for that thing but yeah so there's one two three four five five other five mana cards i'd rather have besides that and then of course like the champions like you have like these champions that are just awesome like vladimir swain like i'd rather have these things too um but yeah trifarian glory seeker is great yeah, like this card. This card's great, and then the assessor is great. Uh, I really like both. Like those are two. Like those are the two awesome Trifarians, for sure. But yeah, having like Glory Seeker, kind of having like some things like that, like some Challenger in here, kind of help open up some other stuff too. But anyway, all right, there we go. That's Sejuani Overwhelm. 
All right, uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. I know it didn't work out the best, but that's okay. They're not always going to. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.